The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, everyone. How are you guys doing? Just wanted to make sure if um, you guys can hear us, um, you know, on chat or in questions, just let me know. Just raise your hand and uh, see whether or not you guys can hear us on screen. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jesse. So um, my, as you guys know, my name is April Wong. I am the marketing director for Chime Technologies. Today, I have a very special guest with us, um, Nate Jones, you know, from Structurally. Hey, Nate. Hey, April. Thanks for uh, having us here. I'm uh, very excited about uh, talking tech with you guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And thank you so much for having, uh, or for coming here. So we're really excited to talk about leveraging technology for you. Um, you know, especially in real estate now, there are, um, so many tools out there and, you know, there's pros and cons of each one of them. Um, as you guys know, Chime Technologies is a all in one platform where we really try to be your operating system for everything real estate. So we have been working really hard on, you know, choosing the top performing um, companies to really integrate with them. So that way you have, you know, your dot loop um, with your operating system, you have, you know, structurally with them and, you know, and you have your transaction manager, you have your CRM, your IDX and your chat bots. Um, all in one. Um, and so it is my pleasure to bring Nate um, and introduce Nate to you guys today to really talk about the benefits of those. Yeah, um, I, you know, I've been uh, introduced to Chime uh, pretty early on. And, you know, I was just amazed with everything that you guys are bringing into one one platform. And, you know, we're excited to be a part of that platform as well. Um, it's structurally um, a little background on what we do. You know, we're an artificial intelligence um, chatbot um, that acts as your inside sales agent that nurtures your leads through messaging. Um, any lead that comes in through Chime, uh, whether they funnel it in from Zillow, truly a realtor.com, we'll engage those leads over text, qualify them, and let Chime handle the rest of your routing. Um, and, you know, Hopefully you wake up um, to a more qualified lead so you can spend more time uh, closing your leads. Awesome. All right, let's head, let's, um, let's get started. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to kind of introduce myself a little bit more, give you guys a little bit of a backstory um, on, you know, where we're coming from is structurally why technology matters um, to, frankly, you know, our business, um, you know, Chime and Structurally, you know, although we're software companies, we're not all too different than your real estate company. And what I mean, what I mean by that is uh, I myself and a first time founder, I was just telling April this um, earlier that I'm a first time founder. This is the first company that I've been a part of starting and I've been blessed in, you know, lucky enough to have some wonderful advisors around me who range from um, selling technology at the enterprise scale to selling veterinarian technology to other real estate brokers and team leaders um, all around me advising me on how to scale you know my business and what you know what their experiences have told me is always boils down to one thing and it's that you need to have a repeatable scalable sales process and what that like ultimately translates to is you have to always have someone or some group of people in your organization selling at all times and instead of focusing on you know those little pieces those things that can be distracting to your bottom line things like lead gen lead nurturing admin admin marketing all these things that sound great but ultimately kind of you know block you from selling so you know what this presentation um, really aims to 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 do is uh, teach you how how you can use technology to kind of fill that gap to continue to you know open up your sales process and let you only be focused on selling because that's in you know the bottom line for my company for Chime for you as a, a broker team leader as a solo agent that's what you need to continue to focus on um, is selling 
and doing everything that you can to make that, um, that process more scalable and repeatable. So luckily for all of you, um, agents are great salespeople. So you guys have that covered, you have the sales part covered, but what you don't have time for is the rest of your business. You know, there's, there's lead gen, there's marketing, lead nurture, recruiting, transaction coordination. It's almost impossible for you to keep the, all of this up on your own. Um, but thankfully companies like Chime and Structurally and other real estate technology partners that, you know, April mentioned like Dotloop, all of this technology comes into play to help you scale your business. So you can, again, focus more of your time on selling. So what I found was some pretty interesting stats done by a, um, a study by Salesforce. And they actually found that sales teams spend about 34% of their week actually selling. So a third of your week is spent on your bottom line. If you could just imagine what, you know, not even the rest of the 66% of the time, if you spend another 50% of your time alone, actually at the closing table, growing your business, imagine what that would do um, to scale your company. Imagine how much more commission that you'd bring in. Um, but instead, the other 66% of your week is typically spent, like I said, generating leads, administrating those leads, qualifying leads, scheduling appointments, et cetera. All the things that you know sound great and that are necessary to you know growing your business, growing your marketing and sales teams, but ultimately they're not they're not you know producing commissions for you. And um, you know that's that's really as you're looking to potentially grow your team, grow your own business or grow your brokerage, it, you know, especially in the real estate market, you have to focus on how you can bring more commission in. And doing some of these tasks can ultimately get you to that, but you want, you know, you want to bring on producing team members. You don't want to bring in administrators. You don't want to bring in people who aren't, um, you know, bringing in commissions to your bottom line. Those people, you know, sound great on paper. You know, there are some there are some businesses that they work really great in, but there's room where technology can actually take over a lot of these steps. And that's you know basically what we're here to talk about is how you can leverage this technology um, to fill in some of those gaps so that you can focus on recruiting more agents and ultimately having those agents spend more of their time selling. Um, so some of you might be thinking, you know, how in the world could a, how in the world could technology schedule an appointment? Um, how could they, you know, generate leads? How could they, how could they do all of all of those administrative tasks that eat up a lot of your time? The the bottom line is that technology is becoming more efficient than a human. If you take a look at, you know, some of these some of these stats here. Um, these are or some of these quotes here. These are from some of structurally users, but um, you know, in the case of Brendan King, he's also a Chime user I know, um, who who uses who uses us together. Um, Sarah is the name of his bot, um, and uh, what he's told us before is that most of most of his uh, leads that he generates through Chime and other places uh, are engaged by you know structurally's bot. And after they talk to the lead, they have no idea it's not a human. And what that bot is talking about is, you know, what's your time frame to move? Um, you know, are you working with an agent? And, you know, other qualifying steps that very much seem human. That's building the rapport that ultimately leads to scheduling an appointment for Brendan or someone on his team. So he can just line up leads, flow them through Chime, qualify them in the spend all of his time out in the field. You know, what, what Brendan told us when we kind of asked him, you know, how he runs his business, um, it was all about, he spends no, none of his time, you know, even at his office. He's always in the field, he's always closing, and that's because he, he leverages technology to handle all of those steps um, that, you know, ultimately are wasting his time. And if you take a look at what, um, what AI looks like um, against a human. So some of you might, you know, be, you, some of you might already be leveraging a human inside sales agent, uh, an inside sales team 
of your own. You know, you went out and recruited that team member, you set them up on some training and you built them into your process. But, you know, you know, I don't speak to your numbers, but you know, we did a little comparative uh, analysis of what it would cost to hire a human inside sales agent to take on some of those tasks of generating leads, qualifying leads, scheduling appointments, those general admin tasks that a human ISA would do. If you look at a regular human inside sales agent, they can approximately work, you know, 19, 1900 um, hours a year at probably about, you know, 15, $16 an hour. If you look at um, an AI inside sales agent, like we offer it structurally, you know, we can work 24 seven, 365 at, you know, pennies on the dollar compared to a human inside sales agent. And what that, what that ultimately means for you is, you know, that, that non-producing team member, because that's ultimately what this is. This is an agent that, you know, isn't producing a commission that you can take a cut on. That member is 455 uh, percent more available and 96 percent cheaper all the while you know you spent zero hours recruiting that member zero spent zero time spent training that member and I think what uh, is one of the best parts is zero turnover you know ISAs have a very high turnover rate um, and ultimately that just continues that's this vicious cycle over and over of recruiting training turnover recruiting training turnover with a machine um, it never gets bored. This is this is the job that it was programmed to do. This is the job that it was trained to do, and it comes pre-trained on you know thousands and thousands of conversations. So you know it's built pre-trained on some of the most highly qualifying scripts um, out there. But Nate, be, before I actually, um, is it okay if I stop you for a second on that? Yeah. Before everyone fires their ISA, um, what are some of the pros and cons for? Um, you know, between, you know, the AI that you may have seen versus like, you know, using a human ISA? Yeah, um, I'd say some of, you know, the pros of human ISA is, you know, our, our uh, chatbot doesn't make any calls. <laughs> so, uh, you know, calling is a, is, a, is a very important aspect of, you know, the, the qualifi qualification process. So, um, you know, we, we have, we have a lot of users who, um, who are actual ISAs themselves. So a lot of our users on a team is an ISA, um, and that works really well together. So yeah, by any means, I'm not telling you to fire your ISA because a lot of our users are in fact ISAs themselves. Um, but it works really well when you have a process in place with that ISA who can, you know, reach that lead, touch that lead with a phone call after you know immediately um, after they uh, fill out a form on any number of websites um, and then at that point you know our chatbot can jump in and take over you know the rest of that conversation uh, via text messaging which is a really good kind of one-two combo um, there and again i would say um, probably a, a con of um, of a human ISA is just their availability. You know, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys some stats later about what we've seen in our numbers, but you know, there is a lot of leads that come in outside of business hours, typical business hours, and there's a lot of leads that come in overnight that you're just frankly missing. And even if you do have an ISA, a human ISA in place, you know, I, I doubt that, they, that they're working 24 seven. Um, if they are uh, more power to you, you're not missing those, but you know, that's a, that's a really big con to the human, to the human aspect that, you know, you're covered with, with, with technology. Totally. And not all AI and not all chatbots are made the same, but, you know, luckily with Structurally, I know you guys are very hands-on with that and you guys can, you know, people can jump in at any time and all that good stuff too. So um, let's get into stats. <laughs> yeah. One point on that that I want to make too is, you know, we're not, you know, I'll, I'll talk more about, you know, that all bots not, aren't made equal later, but what we've, the approach that we've taken is structurally is a human plus AI approach. So at any point, you know, we have a team of US based um, humans who are available to take over the conversation at any point that it goes awry. So 
we have a lot of you know great mechanisms in place where if the lead is saying something crazy, uh, which we see all the time, and the bot you know has no idea what's what what the lead is saying, um, it will you know seamlessly transition over to our human team who are trained on you know just the same scripts, and they can jump into that conversation seamlessly behind the scenes. So you know there's never a lead lost uh, with our system, and you know there's a, it's a great balance between a human and um, AI hybrid. Awesome, thank you. But, yeah, jumping into the stats now. Um, these are probably some stats that have been shared time and time again in the real estate industry, in any industry, really. Um, but they're from the Harvard Business Review. It's just very important to realize that, um, you know, within within ten minutes or within five minutes of responding, you know, you have nine hundred percent chance better of contacting that lead. And after every five minutes, as you can see on the graph on the right, you know your 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 chances of of contacting that lead decrease by you know ten x. So, you know, although every lead might not want to be contacted at one in the morning within five minutes because they were just you know looking, it's still important to reach out to them. It's still important to touch these leads immediately because you have you know a, a far more likely chance of actually getting on the line with them while they're warm and while they're available and while they're still thinking about you and the property that they inquired about. And really what AI and chatbots aim to do here is improve your sales process. So what I mentioned earlier is, you know, 100% of leads are responded to 24 seven, 365. Um, you know, we already kind of talked about that with the pros and cons of human versus um, machine. So, you know, I won't cover that again, but really what, what this, uh, what the, what the bot aims to do is help you qual help you focus on only the qualified leads. So I can imagine most of you have seen tons of leads who their, their, uh, you know, their 10 year old son accidentally clicked a fill a form to fill out, right? How many of those do we get every single day? Um, they're pro they, they were the ones who filled that out. But, you know, you get a lot of those leads that are just looking, not ready to buy for two to four years. Um, those leads that are just frankly not worth your time and that won't help you get to the closing table, you know, tomorrow. So what the chatbot aims to do is help filter those leads out. So, you know, the bot will ask, what's your time frame to move? Are you already working with an agent? Have you been pre-approved for a loan? Are you looking to pay cash? Um, do you need to sell your home before you buy this next one? Um, all these questions that help you understand where this lead is in the sales process so that you can jump in and provide your expertise you know, where necessary and focus on the ones that are most likely to close. Uh, what this ultimately means is that you can handle more leads per agent. So every agent that you add, you, know, you, can, you can add more leads to you know, your lead gen funnel through someone like Chime so that you can handle more leads and really filter those ones that are worth your time and worth your agent's time. And really what it boils down to, like I said, is you, know, you get to recruit more agents instead of non-producing members like an ISA. Um, you know, that's, that's what this boils down to, is that you, know, you want to provide this type of technology to your agents so that they can continue to bring in commissions and you know, scale your business that way. Ultimately, you know, driving towards that that uh, transaction table more more often than not with with the leads that you're generating online. Secondly, you know, it's great to help improve your process as a, you know a team leader, a solo agent, or a broker. But frankly, in today's world um, of instant gratification, of you know Amazon, of all these you know, click button, have magic happen, um, technologies, the consumer is expecting more from you. You know, the days of filling out a form, having an email set in your inbox and, you know, the agent or the, the lead hoping that they get a response in a week or two, those days are over. That lead's gone, that lead's moved on. Um, and what you can kind of see here is what that process looks like for, you know, a consumer right now. So. They'll land on your website, they'll fill out a form, they'll become a lead in your CRM, they'll get that lead nurture email, they'll get an autoresponder. 
if they're qualified, they might schedule a call and then they might talk to you as an agent. There are so many steps there that, you know, that aren't magical. You know, these, these are the steps that you don't get on Amazon. You know, obviously the size of the deal is a lot, um, a lot different, but this is what consumers, especially in the millennial generation have come to expect in today's world. They, with Uber, you know, press button, you get a car. Um, you know, that's, that's not what, you know, maybe decades down the road, you know, real estate will get to that point where you can one click buy, but what the consumer is expecting from you right now is just a response, a response quickly to their answer and hopefully, you know, a time to see the property. They just want a response in a quick um, and timely fashion, which is what, you know, artificial intelligence and chatbots aim to do. So ultimately what AI and chatbots do is shorten your sales funnel, which you know, benefits both you as an agent, your agents on your team or your brokerage, as well as the consumer. So instead of that long um, you know, multi-step process that an agent or that a lead has to wade through in order to get a response, with technologies like Chime and Structurally, when the lead contacts you from any source, the chatbot can jump in and engage that lead immediately within two minutes, answer their questions, you know, let them know that, um, that we're here, that we're listening, and that you know, an agent is ready to go you know, on a dime. You know, we're, the, the chatbot doesn't do anything like schedule an appointment, um, especially because you know, there's a lot of logistics involved there, but it um, continues to kind of listen to the, the lead's needs identify you know what they need from an agent and then ultimately let you as the agent jump in to that conversation and offer your expertise uh, where where that lead needs it um, and you know what's what's great about you know a new integration uh, with chime which we're very excited to announce now um, is that the entire conversation that the chatbot has you know via text via Facebook via live live chat on your website that entire conversation is funneled into your CRM um, through Chime so that you can, you and your agents can actually see that conversation, take over that conversation, jump into that conversation all from one spot, which ultimately, you know, lets that lead get to you, get to your expertise that much quicker. And, you know, what April mentioned earlier um, about kind of the pros and cons of bots versus humans is not all bots are created equal. And especially in today's world, I think that that word bot and the word AI have been really buzzworthy. They've been thrown around all these publications. Um, even when a bot is not really a bot, no one really knows um, what, what the definition of a bot is. But in our sense, you know, we're saying bot is here to simulate a conversation um, with with a real estate lead, but it's not just here to you know pepper the lead with questions, um, and it's not here to be an autoresponder too. So, you know, in that process that I outlined earlier, what we've seen is uh, in today's world lots of leads have sniffed out autoresponders. One of our most common first messages that we've seen from our leads is actually, is this automated? Well, you know, that's kind of a funny question to ask an automated um, conversation, conversational machine, are you automated? So we actually built a response in to answer that question and say, you know, hey, I'm um, so-and-so, um, with the office of so-and-so, I'm here to help answer your questions. I'm the digital assistant um, here to help answer your, your questions. So as you can see here, you know, we had a realtor who got a lead. We initially sent out that first message in two minutes. The lead initially thought it was an automated response and, you know, was going to, you know, throw it away. They didn't, they don't want to be put on an automated responder. You know, they want to get their answers um, answered instantly. So when the conversation ensued, when the chatbot continued the conversation, you know, they were convinced they were talking to a, a human at nearly 11 p.m. So again, that comes back to, you know, being available outside of business hours. And ultimately that gets, you know, Ben Watt to the, to the uh, transaction table that much quicker just by being available 
And just by having systems in place to ultimately get to, you know, that transaction table better, um, so he can spend more of his time selling. So what I'm trying to say here is good artificial intelligence, a good chatbot is human. It's almost indistinguishable from a human. Um, but it's ultimately not here to replace you as a human. But you know, it's trained on its ability to convert leads. It's trained on thousands of conversations. We're constantly tweaking these conversations to understand how to you know, build rapport, how to be empathetic, how to be intuitive, respectful, and engaging to ultimately you know, get a higher response rate and ultimately drive that, that you know, conversation to an introduction to you as a experienced um, agent. So what we built into our chatbot, um, and going back to you know, all, all chatbots are not built the same, is you know, with, with the Structurally chatbot, we understand things that build rapport. We understand why people are moving because of a new job, a new child, um, and even some negatively empathetic things like a divorce or illness, you know, those things are what cause a move. And we have, you know, you can see in this conversation towards the bottom right hand of the slide, you know, this lead mentions that they were going through a divorce and our bot is intuitive enough to pick up that, um, that comment and, you know, offer some sincere, empathetic um, conversation while continuing to drive the conversation in a meaningful way. Um, we're also very respectful. So I mentioned earlier that you know we see, and I'm sure you guys see, lots of leads that are just looking. You know, we don't want to treat that lead the same as someone who's ready to buy tomorrow. So we adjust our tone to be a little bit more passive. You know, well, there's no pressure. You know, we're we're here to help. You know, let's put together a few listings and gauge it from there. So we adjust our tone throughout the conversation if a lead mentions anything along the lines of "I'm just looking." Uh, which really, really, you know, builds up that rapport um, and gets us to gets us further along in the conversation, so that you can have a better understanding of what you need to offer to this lead. And lastly, um, there's a lot of really fun, engaging ways too that treat the conversation as more human. We use, you know, some passive emojis. We use the time of day. We have jokes built in. Uh, short delays between messages, as well as an occasional typo, can go a long way to let the know to let the lead know that you're human, um, just like them. So, kind of to recap here, what AI and what chatbots aim to do is, you know, make it easier for people to buy or sell with your business. That's the bottom line. You know, this, this technology is in place to make it easier for a lead to do business with you. Because, you know, chatbots are available 24-7, 365. We've mentioned that. And here are the stats that I really wanted to get to. You know, what we've seen is about 50% of leads that we've engaged come in after hours, after the hours of 5 p.m. and before 8 a.m. So that's kind of, you know, your typical business hours. Over half, or over half of the leads that you get come in probably after the after those times that you know uh, you're working. But what's even more kind of eye opening is that over thirty percent of the structurally engaged leads that we've seen come in overnight, you know, after eight p.m. and before eight a.m. Those are leads who you know are just probably lost without something, without a system in place um, to handle those leads and. You know, what a chatbot does is they, they give you that peace of mind that every single one of those leads is handled. 100% of those leads are handled so that if a lead comes in at, you know, 1 a.m., you, you can wake up the next morning to a warm, qualified lead who, you know, at which point you can offer your expertise and, you know, get to that appointment, get to that next step in the, in the sales funnel. Um, and, you know, how... How would how a chatbot gets you to that next point in the sales funnel is by asking those important qualifying questions in an empathetic way. You know, we handle buyers, seller, renters, land buyers, commercial buyers, investors, and more. We have different scripts for all of these because every lead is not created equal. You know, every single lead needs their own tailored conversation to them, which is why we have different scripts in place for all of these different types of leads. We understand that buyers, renters, et cetera, are looking for beds, baths, price range. 
we ask those questions so that you can use time um, to set up a search and you know continue to nurture them that way. You can understand what their time frame is to move, if they're working with an agent and what their financing status is, all without lifting a finger on your side. Um, and one of the you know one of the other important pieces of the qualification metric of moving that lead to the next step in your funnels, obviously getting them to an appointment. So although our chatbot you know doesn't solicit you know and put appointments directly on your calendar. We ask for the, the leads requested either showing or listing appointment time, some sort of you know, buying or selling consultation. You know, we say, you know, do you want to see this property? When do you want to see this property? And they let us know. And then we let you as the agent confirm that time, which is important because you know, you're, you're very busy. And we see a lot of leads that are asking for you know, same, day, same day showings, which isn't, which isn't probably um, accommodating to your schedule. So we let you as the agent drive that um, conversation forward. And lastly, chatbots work on a variety of communication entry points. Like I mentioned, you know, any lead that comes in from Zillow, truly or realtor.com, Chime, uh, we will text those leads. Any lead that comes into your business Facebook Messenger, we can engage those leads. And any leads that, you know, land on your website, start a conversation that way and who don't want to fill out a form, we can engage those leads as well through live chat. And, you know, we're, we're in an industry where we're living on the cusp of AI. This is a very um, new technology in today's world. And, you know, by, by 2020, Oracle predicts that 80% of businesses say they want a chatbot. Uh, this is going to change the way that Consumers are engaging with service professionals. This is the this is going to change customer service drastically, and this is this is the time to get um, get on board with chatbots, get on board with technology to help scale your business and help uh, help you focus on more of those those tasks that ultimately drive more dollars through the door. And what's what's great about our industry is. We have a dire need for technology like chatbots because, as you can see here, this, this is a stat that we've seen time and time again, according to Real Trends, 45% you know, of leads never receive a, spot, re receive a response. There's just, you know, if you just responded to 100% of leads all the time, no matter what time they come in, imagine how much that would drive your bottom line just by being available and being responsive. That's what chatbots, um, that's what the, the ROI of AI um, just kind of at a high level looks like. Uh, you know, more leads equals more closings and putting systems in place like a bot, um, like AI, that can really ultimately you know, help you get uh, more leads converted by just being available and responding to them. So what I wanna leave you with is just a case study of one of our agents who you know, came to us and said he was growing his team. He didn't want, he, he knew he needed an ISA or he knew he needed these systems in place that I mentioned to you. Um, but he didn't want to go out and hire a human ISA just because they're extremely expensive and they, they're not producing. So, you know, Chad Leenberg came to us, said, you know, he gets 400 plus leads every month. And, you know, we, we started rolling those leads through Zillow, um, and 100% of the leads were engaged by structurally a chatbot. Uh, what, what that ultimately led to him was a 17% conversion rate without hiring a human ISA. So I think that this is kind of where I wanted to, to leave off just with the RO, what, what the ROI of, of AI, what the ROI of chatbots could look like and how someone successfully onboarded um, a chatbot to their team, you know, while he was experiencing the problem of growing his team, while he was experiencing the problem of, problem of knowing he needed an ISA in place to handle his lead volume, but didn't want to hire a non-producing member. So he spent zero time recruiting, he spent zero time training an ISA, he has zero turnover, and he ultimately added new members to his team, added more leads to his team, and is seeing a higher conversion rate, all with artificial intelligence, all with the chatbot. So 
that's kind of where I wanted to leave off. Um, just think about how you can implement a repeatable sales process. You know, that's how I mentioned, that's how I started this. You know, I, I mentioned that I'm a first time founder as well. And this is the same advice that I'm hearing to grow my business. This is the same advice that, you know, Chime is every, every, every business out there has to have a repeatable sales process, which, you know, leads to having one person or one organization in your, in your company focused on selling all the time. And that's what technology like a chatbot, that's what technology like Chime, who does lead gen, who does lead management, lead um, administration and team management, that's what these technologies um, aim to do. And with that, you know, I'm gonna pass it off to April to talk about Chime. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you again for, you know, talking a little bit about that. And before we actually jump on there, I wanted to share a really good story. Um, at least for me, I, you know, it was extremely entertaining. I went and visited uh, Brendan King just about two or three weeks ago um, at Las Vegas. And he, you know, as you mentioned before, he was a Chime user and also a Structurally user. He's just you know, he embraces tech, right? And another one of our um, people that I always talk about is like Kenny Trung. And um, it, it's funny because, you know, I was talking to Brandon and I was like, hey, how, you know, how's the, how's everything going? How's all, you know, streamlining your process, all that stuff. And he does talk about, you know, both Kenny and both, um, <clears throat> and both Brandon, both actually really embrace technology they know that the human aspect is always there. They know that the what they do best is really making that interaction with people and, you know, in and showing them the house, right? And being there to be trusted. They also know that the whole team's there to be trusted. So um, they always introduce their whole team, et cetera. And the one story that stuck with me was I think, I think um, you know, it, he actually renamed his chat bot and I forgot what he named it. And maybe I'm selling his secret right now, but he, I, I think it's it was Sarah. like Jennifer, right? Sarah. Or something. <laughs> Sarah, yeah. He renamed it Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. So, and, and, you know, and Sarah works at night, you know, she, she's answering questions and I'm already saying it's a she, but it's interesting because, <laughs> um, a lot of, and, and, you know, he's like, you know, the problem with chat bots is, everyone's asking for Sarah. She's the nicest one out there. <laughs> and, and he's like, you know, yeah. people are like, hey, can Sarah show the requesting? And I think, you know, in the, the way he says is, oh, she's, uh, you know, she's too busy right now. And he doesn't admit that it's a chat bot, but um, that's a little secret for all of you. However, you know, they, Sarah is an integral part of his team. And, you know, and people just see her as, oh, okay, she's, she just says, she's just another member. And, you know, and he speaks, he doesn't even talk about it as structurally with me when he was talking about all his processes, how he uses the drip campaigns with Chime, all that stuff. And he just says, yeah, and Sarah does this. And for a while, it's like, I don't think mm -hmm. I met Sarah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I met structurally. <laughs> so just a little tip that, you know, <laughs> I think naming your chatbot is a really good thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. Yeah, no, I think that that is a that's a really big aspect, and you know, I think we're we're following up with that with the with the ebook after this, and there's some great tidbits on you know our best practices on using a chatbot in in your process, and and one of them is to rename your chatbot to a very human like name and treat it like a member of your team. You know, your your leads really respect that, um, and it just makes for a, a really fun experience for for everyone on your team and everyone of your leads as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, just wanted to also then, you know, we were talking about other types of technology. Um, you know, Chime actually has a very powerful AI um, run type of uh, lead generation. So we look at, you know, the time and day, we look at the demographic that you're um, targeting, and we actually do all the A-B testing copies. So as as you know, as we were talking about ISAs and chatbots, just in the same way, instead of having a marketing manager do one test and second test to check the copy, check the title, check the images, we actually have a um, patent pending algorithm that 
does all that in real time. We do more than a hundred permutations online to find the best results that are working for you. So we know exactly what time of day is a better time to target that same demographic that you wanted in, you know, Google or, you know, Bing or Facebook, et cetera. So, um, our, our technology in the black box, I'd like to say, or secret sauce is really, you know, replacing some aspects of a marketing manager by really doing those A-B testing for you over a hundred permutations. And we create all the creatives ourselves. So um, if you move on to the next slide, uh, the, you know, one thing we want to talk about is a chime, right? You talked about, or Nate had talked about um, processes. Um, and process really is to save you time and time is money. And, you know, that means more closing and deals for you. So what Chime really does is really streamline that process on, you know, once you get the lead, how you get all the information, we track everything for you. A CRM is really the best CRM you use. However, you shouldn't be settling for a terrible one. And what when I say a terrible one, what I mean is, you know, you shouldn't have the manual labor of typing in what your conversation or having to actually document everything you've done throughout your day with chime, it actually tracks everything for you. It records the phone calls. Um, it, you know, tracks all the activities back and forth and really the integrations that we have with all of our partners allows you to actually check through every single portion without really actually having to type it in. You could add notes if you wanted to, to share with your lenders, you could add notes, you know, with your assistant. However, it, you need a CRM that actually tracks everything for you and is also like an assistant for you. So um, that's one of the unique things about Chime. And well, we have it mobile first because really we want you out in the field. We want you to, you know, make those connections with people. So, and then you can see our current integration partners, but here in the operating system, you know, we do so many things that also encompasses um, on top of everything that you are normally already doing, right? You have your chat box that talks to people, but once you actually get the lead, you know, we, and, and, you know, again, with Geographic Farm and Chime, we're able to get the lead generation for you. But now you have to then think about, okay, the, the lead that says, hey, I'm not really looking right now. Um, you know, not at this instant. We can do smart plans that do drip campaigns and drip text messages and emails that, you know, when they're asking for questions, or maybe you can send them property alerts, or, you know, maybe once a month, just do a touch in. Or if you wanted to do a mass blast of email address or emails um, and, and text messages with the leads, there's task management systems. So tons of group and um, teams and brokerage um, tools for you. So you know we we have you know task management for you. We have a beautiful reporting screen that tells you, you know, are you hitting your goals? And really it's like a business management tool. Um, Nate, you were mentioning that you were, um, you know, this is a new industry and, you know, you're a first time founder on here. I think, you know, one of the brilliant things for everyone, as we all know, is, you know, we're all small business owners here. Um, you know, and I say we, but you know, it's like all real estate agents, all teams, all, and, and you are all running your own business. And really the one thing that you're really good at is, you know, focused on, and you, you find the one thing that's really good for you. And majority of the times it's really making that connection real or building a team, or in your case, Nate, it's building a really, really cool technology, right? One thing that I personally hate doing is, you know, reporting. <laughs> and, yeah. and, you know, you're able to get all those ROI. You can know where you are in your goals. You can track all that. So we do provide all those tools for you and be able to have a task management system. Just so you guys know, my team also uses it. So when I ever, you know, whenever I need to ask Michael to do something, I send, um, you know, I have a task management of, okay, now that the leads on this end, please send this strip campaign, please give them a call, please do this, et cetera. And our whole team actually uses it just like everyone else. So we have integrations, 
we, we do a lead scoring to know just how hot that lead is. So you know which ones to focus on um, based on how they interact with your IDX and website, all that good stuff. So, um, and, and that's kind of the whole encompassing of, you know, Chime. But again, it's really, our, our main purpose is really just to save your time and doing those mundane tasks that can be replicated and really help, help you just close deals and, you know, from hellos to escrows, <laughs> I'd like to say. So and that's kind of um, it on that part. We, um, you know, we're super excited to um, share a ebook with you. This ebook um, kind of talks and encompasses a little bit more of, you know, what we were talking today in terms of, you know, the intro to tech, why it's important, um, why, you know, the pros and cons with both of them. And as, as Nate had mentioned earlier, really, you know, some of the case studies and what are some of the best practices that are on there. So check your inboxes. They're all going to be in there. We're going to be sending it to you directly along with the recording of this. Um, and, you know, and, and also um, on the 22nd, we're also going to be sending you um, a webinar invite for how to improve your listings. And it's really going to be a Q&A with um, Coach uh, we, Carl Rizzo. And he is, um, you know, he's a Tom Perry coach and he's going to be doing a Q&A. So it's going to be live and, um, you know, I hope you all bring questions and, and we're just going to be answering questions live. All right. Well, Nate, do you have anything else that you'd like to add today? No, I just, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, thank you guys. Thank everyone for, for um, showing up today. You know, tech can be a very exciting um, uh, topic to, to discuss, to, to learn about. There's, it's always changing. And I think, you know, it's, it's really, it's been really exciting to, to be a part of this webinar with Chime. Um, you know, Chime with Structurally is just bleeding edge, um, working together. Um, and, you know, we're excited again to, to roll out our integration with Chime. Um, and, um, you know, any Chime user who's, who's using Chime can um, send the conversations back and forth between Structurally. Um, and it's a, it's just a really exciting time to be in the real estate industry and to be in real estate technology more specifically. Um, and I just want to thank everyone for your time. Um, and just be sure again to, to check out those, those chatbot best practices. There's a lot of really great information in this ebook about how to leverage technology like AI, like chatbots, like Chime's lead gen, lead management, um, it's really kind of a definitive guide on how to streamline your process with technology. And, you know, with that, I just want to thank everyone for, for being here and thanking, uh, thank you, April, for, for having me uh, um, on this webinar. Yeah, absolutely. And before we do, we all, we have about 12 minutes left. Um, I, there, there are a bunch of questions, so I'd love to um, shoot some over to you. Um, Okay, the sure. Process transitions from a trans uh from a chatbot to a human at 11 while I'm sleeping. Can you say that first part? Sorry. Yeah, how does the process transition between, you know, they're already talking to a chatbot and then, you know, from a, at 11 p.m. and, you know, they they want to talk to someone and, you know, the agent is sleeping right now. What how does that transition yeah. happen? Yeah, so it really depends on the type of lead that it is. You know, like I mentioned, we work with all sorts of variety of leads, a buyer, seller, renter, investor, land buyer. So depending on that type of conversation, we have, you know, eight to 12 questions that we ask of the lead when we get them engaged. So, you know, if the lead in that case of, of our case study that we mentioned, that testimonial that came in at 11, um, I believe it was a buyer who was requesting to see a property. So, you know, they responded, you know, is this automated? We gave them a response back and went through the rest of our questions where, you know, we solicited the, their appointment time and said, you know, hey, my team leader, Ben Watt, will be available to, uh, will follow up to confirm that showing appointment. By the way, you know, what's your time frame to move look like? So we make it through all those eight to 12 questions. And then at the end, we, we actually, we, we call this an introduction after we've made it through those, those qualifying questions. Um, 
we, we say something like, hey, you know, I, it looks like I've got a lot of great info from you um, to get started, um, to get to work. I'm going to let my team leader, you know, Ben Watt, know about our conversation so he can follow up with you shortly. Um, so then that transition happens whenever Ben is available. Um, and the, at that point, the bot stops asking questions. However, you know, if the lead would have mentioned anything like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to text right now. Can you give me a call? We also have responses that are built in for that too. So if that were to happen, you know, the chat bot would say like, of course, Benoit will be in touch with you um, when he's available um, at, you know, one, two, three, whatever his phone number is. So it's very flexible and it's very, um, it's passive when we know that the agent is not available or is available. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and then uh, Becky's asking if Chime will integrate with Real Geeks. So we actually run our own IDX. The benefits of IDX connecting with CRMs is that you can actually track every single thing that's happening. Unfortunately, um, depending on the third party companies, they sometimes, or what well, I say third party, but, you know, depending on companies, they may or may not share that information. Um, we know for a fact that because we create the IDX, we create the CRM, you can track every single thing that the user searches, looks for, um, and, you know, favorites, shares, and also, you know, which properties they looked at. So unfortunately at this time, um, we, we don't have plans to connect with real Greeks and their IDX website. Um, let's see. Oh, and then Jenny says, Chime is the first and personal opinion, a real estate technology that integrates with partners. And I actually recognize and using the current system, this equals to easier assimilation. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> and, and I think that's true, you know, and that's actually why we recently opened up our, um, you know, what we call an open API. So we, we realized that, you know, in order to be the operating system for your real estate tech, we wanted companies to be able to build upon us and we can't build all of them ourselves. So companies like Structurally actually um, leveraged the open API that Chime used in order to, um, be able to also, you know, connect because we want this to be your operating system. We want you just to only use one system to do things because, you know, let's, let's face it. No one wants to bring 15 calendars with them and no one wants to bring and open up like, you know, 20 applications just to, you know, do stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I might digress here for a second, but you know, I was working in the smart home industry um, prior to chime and, you know, I wanted my home to be smart, but, you know, with Alexa on there and Philips Hue lights and, you know, my, my, my lock system, you know, like having, you know, my ring on the ring, which, uh, you know, a doorbell system and, and then my refrigerator and <laughs> all those had their own applications and it made no sense. Um, you know, and then, so we, you know, a company that, uh, recently then bought, bought out by smart, uh, by, uh, Samsung actually, you know, created it where they're like, okay, that's it. One platform, one thing. And we took that same, and you know, I took that same philosophy with, um, with here at chime is that how can we streamline everyone's processes? It's, you know, let's have it where everyone can connect to us and let's work, you know, as much as we can, but it really does depend on, you know, the, the other party and how they, you know, are they willing to share that information over? So, um, thank you so much for that compliment, Jenny. Let's see. They are asking, what is the cost of um, of Structurally? And is there a discount for Chime users? Um, yeah, so we have we have pricing on our sign-up page. So if you just go to structurally.com, um, you can click the sign-up button, and then there you'll see some pricing. But we have an introductory plan at $179 a month. Um, which includes 50 leads. Um, we don't have any um, discount for for Chime users at this point, but you know, I'm sure our conversations uh, between Chime, uh, between myself and April, will continue. So that's definitely something that um, could be on the table here. Awesome. And then it says uh, Becky's asking if Chime allows us to set home market reports for sellers and drip an update on them biweekly or monthly. Yes, absolutely, we definitely do. We have a very robust home market report um, that 
you can set up for sellers and or buyer leads um, for their property alerts. And then, um, and yes, you can definitely set your drip campaigns however way you want to. Um, Nate, we have a question for you. Will chatbots engage yeah. leads that have viewed a specific property numerous times? No, not at this point. Um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a really interesting avenue that we're starting to uh, explore, you know, potentially with our live chat. Um, but again, it would rely on some integrations with, um, uh, you know, companies like Chime. And um, once, once we have a more robust integration that, you know, allows Chime to send activity of, you know, search behaviors to us, that's definitely, you know, a feature that's, that's going to be very important because it really gives that, that, that lead, that real time kind of um, insight, that real time um, data points that, you know, lets them know that we're listening, we're watching, we're here to help. And it's very personal too. So short answer is no, not at this time, but um, there's definitely some very exciting opportunities with, with companies like Chime to do that. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we are still able to track that on Chime. So it does actually give you a notification of, you know, hey, this lead is really hot because of this. And we have an activity speed feed kind of like a, uh, like your Facebook activity feed um, that kind of, you know, as you scroll down, you can see everything that's happening and it says, hey, this person's read it five times or, you know, checked out this property five times. Maybe you want to contact them. However, you're right. Like, I think having that leverage and, you know, as we continue to innovate, I, you know, maybe Nate and I will have something out very soon. <laughs> um, so I have a question for you. Um, sorry, Sean has a question. How does emailing work with uh, the chat bot? Do I have to give the bot an uh, email address? So we don't do any emailing right now. So um, we only work on you know text, Facebook Messenger, and live chat. We let we let the CRM companies uh, handle emails. You know, like Chime, you're very very good at it. And has a very good CRM to do that. Um, so we don't handle any sort of qualification of the lead over email at this time. And then uh, Jeremy is asking, does it mean that chatbots are passive and waits for the lead to engage first? Or is there something like after a time they're on the site, the chatbot will try and initiate the conversation? Yep. Um, right now we're, you know, our, our bread and butter is those leads that fill out a form or that engage with you on Facebook Messenger that, you know, we're the first lead to, or we're the first, we're the first system to touch that lead. Uh, one, one thing that we're working on right now is um, for the ability of, for our live chat to um, pop up on on your screen on on the lead screen after some sort of activity, whether it be you know time spent on site, if they visit a specific URL, um, etc. Awesome, awesome! I love all the questions, everyone. Um, what is the website to sign up? on your end um for structure yes for structurally so it's structurally.com you can kind of see it there in the bottom right corner how to spell structurally it's a little weird but it's just structure l y s t r u c t u r e l y dot com and then for chime if you're interested joanne it would be um chime.me um, is a way that you can actually go on there to uh, sign up, let them know and to say, Hey, I just saw April at the webinar. She told me to mention me and, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you definitely. Um, and, you know, and everyone else who's actually on here. Um, let's see what other questions we have. Let's see. Chatbot link. So does a chat bot link into the website we brought through Chime? So at this time, Nate, um, they're wondering about that. So the chat bot, um, how does that connect with uh, the Chime's IDX? Yeah, so right now, if any, if any Chime user fills out a form, let's say if they're searching for a specific property, um, anytime they fill out a form or just register on, a, on the Chime IDX website, we engage that lead, whether they fill out a form just as a general buyer, whether they filled out a form out of, uh, um, as a lead inquiring about a specific property, whether they fill out you know, that seller valuation um, request form, any of those leads that are generated through the Chime IDX website will 
will automatically engage via text. Um, and, and as well as, you know, we can, we can work with the live chat leads as well um, on the IDX website. Awesome. Thank you so much. And Nate, I want to thank you again for taking your time and showing us chat bots today. Um, it is 10 o'clock, so we want to be cognizant of everyone's time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and, you know, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, Nate. Yeah, likewise, I really appreciate your time and every one of, um, every one of our listeners' time today as well. Um, thanks again and looking forward to potentially another one in the future and from hearing from everyone in the industry again. All right. Thank you. Bye now. Okay. Bye.